Bless the Lord, O my soul, blessed are thou, Lord. The Jesus Prayer is the prayer that I use most of the time. I do it throughout the day. I do it while I'm driving. I do it when I'm falling asleep at night in my bed. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. This particular prayer rope was made by one of our monks. I had him make this prayer rope purple because purple is my favorite color. But most of my other prayer ropes are black. I even have one that's made out of wooden beads. There have been many times over the years when I've chosen to remember to pray for an individual that I knew was in need of prayer. And at those times, it became my habit to change the end of the prayer to include the name of the person. So for instance, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on thy servant, Edward. But recently, it came to my attention that there was a better way to do that. By saying, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. I'm recognizing that I am a sinner in need of prayer as I'm praying for that other person. So when I say, have mercy on me, my intention is to include that person, knowing that both of us collectively are in need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, a sinner. That includes everyone that I am praying for. I don't have to change the end. And in fact, it's better if I don't. Because by changing it, it is though I am seeing that the other person is in need more than I am because they're a bigger sinner than I am. And I know myself and I know that I am in need of God's mercy. So when I say the Jesus prayer for someone who has requested my prayers or that I have observed needs my prayers, but I say, have mercy on me, I'm recognizing that both that individual and I myself are in need of God's mercy. Glory to God for his loving kindness and his mercy. If you have found this content to be a blessing, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Son and immortal word.